the stream started here. Since I'm doing capture cards, you know I gotta set up a couple things. So please be patient. about three or four more minutes and I should be ready to go.
Alright, so the stream is good to go. Let me just send a text to my girlfriend. process when I stream from my um, capture card, I'm sorry. When I stream from the PS4, I literally hit a button and start recording, but I have to make sure all the settings are right for the capture card, you know. It's a struggle, man, it's a struggle. Alright, so let me just get my dogs out of my room and then I'll begin the stream. Three minutes. Motherfuckers, let do the. All right, where's my controller? Oh fuck! It's on the other side of the world. All right, so we're beginning in five, four, three, two, one. This is Carrie Five, three, four, two, one. Thank you for joining me for Life is Strange Before the Storm, episode three. And I think this is the last episode. So, after this, we will be completely done. Collector mode. Yeah. I think this will be the last one, so... Let's get started! Hell is Empty, Episode 3. I just really, I, I really want to just get this game off my plate, so I can, um... Not stress about finishing the stream. I have other games I want to stream too, so let's go ahead and finish this up. Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Put my phone on vibrate, I'm sorry. Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Bombshell drop.
I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. Oh, I'm getting lost. Okay, there we in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so beautiful, just like you. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. I only saw what I wanted to see. Until it was almost too late. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. This all feels like someone else's life. Whatever happens, Rachel, I'm here. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was, a destructive person. 
someone who could never be satisfied. By anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. Well, I can't even look at the other ones anymore. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her, and I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again, and again, and again, to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. You think you have the right to decide that for her? When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. Maybe people change, right? Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <laughs> Rachel, I think I need to lie down. Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't. But you totally saved us. Without you there would have been no show, seriously. Just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. We've kind of looked at everything. The Tempest show feels so far away now. This is so painful to look at. I 
hope tonight hasn't messed up Rachel's memories of family trips like this. Whoa. Sarah Gearhart is a known associate of that psycho who attacked Drew. Then again, so is Frank. Rachel only knew half the truth when she set that fire. What if she'd known everything? Wonder what James is thinking right now. Uh, um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. Hey, what's up, Gallo? I'm Lazio. So that's why you never told How's her? How's it going? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. But shouldn't that be up to Rachel to decide? Rachel is curious and determined. She's always going to want to know more. I can believe that. She won't be concerned about her own safety. She never has been. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe. I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. And thanks for the uh, subscription, or the subscribing, um, Gallo. Um, what did he ask me? That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are, too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her, too, you know? I know. Thank you. I gotta go speak with the mother. I'm depending on you to keep Rachel safe, Chloe. Hard to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sarah. But does that make what James did right? I guess there's worse things than growing up around fancy stuff like this. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Be with Rachel. So I probably need to go speak to Rachel in a second. And Gallo said, you're welcome. can't believe I was feeling goofy enough to draw that just a few hours ago. I can't even imagine how she must be feeling. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay. Mm. Rose. Sorry that tonight turned out so... Uh, differently. That's all right. I'm really quite glad that you're here. I'm glad, too. You've had to cope with much worse, I know. I'm grateful Rachel has someone as strong as you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. Yeah, Mr. Amber. I don't know, he just sounds like a... Like a biatch. Well, not really, but, I mean... Just something off about him. It's fine. Rachel's the one who's really upset. She has every reason to be. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Doesn't matter how painful it is. 
You don't lie to someone you love. You might be right. But can any of us really know what we would do in his situation? He's been a devoted father for 15 years. I know he loves Rachel more than anything. I'm surprised you're defending him after what he did at the Overlook. It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. You're welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Everybody's so uh, down right about now. It makes sense. I forgot how to run. How do I run? Oh, there we go. Walk faster by holding R2. Yeah. It's been a while since I played this game. I think I played this since November. some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. Cool light. God, this light needs more light. I wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Brighten it up? Hmm. We were so close to making our break last night. Now... I don't know. The yin and badass yang of Rachel Amber. Hey, what's up, uh, GG Lil Blaze? I said I was going to stream um, Dragon Ball Z tonight, but um, I got to finish up Life is Strange before I fully devote myself to Dragon Ball Z. Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? And I forgot, I'll add you for real, for real, as soon as I finish this. <laughs> hey, you always be safe. Sure. But from who? Some interesting stuff in there. Rachel might not survive her family, but at least she'll survive the zombie apocalypse.
Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home. Doesn't matter that it's after curfew. Mom, I can't right now. Please. I shouldn't text back after that. I could get grades like this. Straight I just A's. Don't want to. Wish I had. Wish I had straight A's back in. I know high something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? gonna draw a pot leaf, I, I bet you. That's the one. I didn't get to see what that said. There's an essay I might actually read. Or, you know, write. Page 420. Puff, 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 pass. Oh, puff, puff versus pass. Negative 50 words. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Right, so we put that in there. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Oh yeah, and I do, uh, Lil Blaze. I was gonna, I was gonna stream Dragon Ball Z tonight, but, um, I, I, I remember I had to finish this game first before I fully devote my time to Dragon Ball Z, so I will be playing that hopefully tomorrow. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. I hope you've been practicing, or at least you got your copy of Dragon Ball Z. On stage, I think Rachel said... Oh, Rachel's still awake. She's just kind of pissed off. The corners of the world... Our mere prologue? Our mere prologue, I guess. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. Rachel was incredible as Prospera. <laughs> I won't forget a second of it. Uh, this game is Life is Strange. It's totally different from a lot of the other games I play. It's kind of like a... Um, your decisions determine the outcome of the game. And this is the third episode, so you kind of miss a lot of what happened. And the night... That is very resourceful. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Alright, how can I get her attention? Do I just walk up to her? Check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? You remind us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. 
Exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? <laughs> I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. <coughs> I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here for me, I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah. That's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Let me handle it. Really? Really. <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Don't worry. I've got that one covered, too. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. It's just like I told that biker dude at the mill, who was a lot scarier than this mom of yours could ever be. There could be flamethrowers, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash between you and her. And I would still find a way to get you there. <laughs> Chloe fucking Price. My magical Shakespeare fairy.
Shut up. <laughs> but once we find her... How do I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Um... Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them... That means they're real. To us. Right? Right. Oh, life is strange. Playing with your feels. Ironically, I have a story somewhat similar to this. Every time I play this game, I've got a story similar to what they're going through. And I'll tell it if I can, if I get the chance to. stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. Alright, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? See anything? Fine. It's the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N None of this is real. You're not real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage, so might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. 
I just want to be myself. Give me a break. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Jesus. Chloe's going through her own little nightmare. Is Chloe sneaking into her own house? Wait. What the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Oh, shit. Wait. David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. All right. Guess it's time for a little wordplay. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? So, uh, the situation was a lot more complicated than you told me. What are you talking about? I promise I can explain. I... I have a favor to ask you first. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? Yeah. Me in the junkyard in two hours. Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. That went well. I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay. Thanks for being there for me last night. I'm feeling a lot better. Guess what? Hmm. I'm a good kisser. Huh? Okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he can get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yep, I'm still at my house, just showering and grabbing tools for the truck. So, we'll meet at the junkyard, and I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Okay. Yep. What'd you say? Fuck. I was going too fast. Alright, so I think I need to check everything over and... So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Wonder what I can find out about Rachel's mom. 
figures. Sarah Geared Hart, Winchester High School, Give Fisher. Sorry if you hear my dogs in the background. I guess somebody just got home. Uh, March 1989, each year, Winchester. It was a few months after I was born. Um, what? Victoria Chase commented on your photo, tagged. Yeah. Nice to see my work is appreciated. Rachel really is good at everything she does. Let me see if... Hmm, I can't see what... Thou art an idiot. <laughs> huh. Guess people liked Skip's music a lot more than I did. California, huh? Would be cool to see where Rachel grew up. Weird to think I might actually see some of the world one day. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Oh, graffiti. So you what gotta check I every little thing. To show? I'd say I went down in a place of glory. Right. Bringing you up to the minute coverage. It's really too early to be up on a Sunday. See, me and Chloe think alike. Alex Keller with the Arcadia Bay Police Department. Sergeant Keller, Still drug can't use in our case. Fucking Bay believe that rise, David that right? my stuff. Fortunately, yes. There has recently been a spike in the use of heroin. I don't think heroin? I should I change her clothes uh, or can I change her clothes? Like Arcadia Bay would be safe. Yeah, I got to go like over that. here. Well, problem is these huh? drugs don't appeal to any exclusive demographic. Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. I can't discuss any ongoing investigations, but we are working closely with the district attorney's office. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Have I ever watered that? Ah, uh, better than nothing. Did you put soda in there? Jesus. You're welcome, plant. Alright, before we go out, Dad's jacket. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Gotta get a little blades it's before you so go out. Weird to be home. We'll let it cycle as much for a as this bit. place sucks, at least it's not full of secrets. Nobody's hiding anything. Well, except me and my pot and everything with Rachel. But. How could I possibly tell Mom what I'm up to? I'm so tired of pretending things are fine to Mom. I, I always mess up again, and then she gets mad. Maybe... Maybe I should try not to see her today. I 
think I just did every I think I cleared everything out of here so let's get on out of here is mom playing music? Huh. Victoria so I was right all alone Rachel Amber is a fucking evil bitch oh yeah she totally is I guess you think you're a little sidekick now yep I've had it with this school. Nobody gave a shit. Damn. It was... What? Wait a minute. I've had it with the school. Nobody gave a shit about me last night. It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. <laughs> um, oh man. When you try to drug someone and then it bites you in the ass, that's just the worst. Fuck you, Chloe. No wonder they got beef. Alright, hold down to move faster. Yes, I know. One day, I'll look at that and think, huh, oh, my old home, and not fuck this shithole forever. So, if I put this photo out, Mom just hides it in a different drawer? What the hell? I wonder who gave this to mom. Cause nothing screams compensating for something like a bright yellow sports car. Sports cars are really good for... Hitting on chicks. Literally hitting on chicks. Hope you know a good body shop. No way. Mom actually sold her ring? Oh for no. hundred dollars. Damn, son. Wait, did she say three hundred? Oh god. It really is moving in. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait. Is today Mother's Day? Oh, God. Shit. <sighs> Can I just give that to Mom again for Mother's Day? Just hide mine under the pillow. Pshh. Only when my girlfriend's here. Alright, so we're good, we're good. Is getting out of here still in my future? Or is this picture the closest I'll ever get? Either way, we're fixing that truck from the junkyard. I would think she has to go get some tools from the garage. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay. My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. Gross. I really hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Lots of washcloths. No towel. Maybe mom threw my towel in here. No awesome pirate towel. Yeah, it was her pirate towel. Score. Oh, there it 
this. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Use it. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down. I think she's gonna dye her hair here. Soul, the blue, yes, the blue. Gotta love the blue for Chloe. What do I feel like wondering on this easy ass thing? I almost want to put back on what I had on. Was the bonus outfit that I got? Uh, I got a couple of bonus outfits actually. Um. Hot dog? It's the one with the hot dog picture on the front, I think. Yeah. I kind of like what I was wearing before. Let me put on her Illuminati outfit. to get dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Holy shit, she made a mess. Um. Still can't fucking believe that David went through my stuff. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. She only has one streak of blue hair, though. She needs to go full Chloe. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? And she has the blue streak. They're gonna go post-apocalyptic. Dude, it is roasting in my room right now. I want to take my jacket off, but um, I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's like me and my girlfriend cooking pancakes. I always mm -hmm. think they're gonna burn. You know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. 
You are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. <laughs> he flipped it over while she did her dip. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is... Uh... Is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I, uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I, I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> really? What does that mean? <sighs> it means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So, if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David, the idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. Mm. I could bring up what... I'm trying to keep the peace right about now, so I'm not going to bring up anything up from upstairs. Well, this sounds like it's doomed to fail, but hey, kudos for trying. Chloe. What? I really meant it. Good job. Hey, that's Chloe Can being nice. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been... meaning to show you something. Maybe... Maybe now's a good time. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. 
He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. Um, I mean, David's honestly being nice, so I'm not gonna act like a bitch. But we're still leaving. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. <coughs> Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. This chapter is starting off pretty, pretty slow, but like all chapters, I think it's probably going to pick up near the very end of it. Plus, this is the last episode, so it has to pick up. I swear I'm going to get hit with the copyright strike from all this music. with me here. Damn it! Chloe's doing better than I could do. Better. But still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. Chloe, this is David. Did my mom give you my number? Yes, she did. I noticed you took your father's toolbox. Are you working on a project? Sort of. What kind of project? Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Well, I'm glad to see you taking an interest in something. Keep it up. I just need to... It's not like I need a manual. But I'm really glad it's you. It's not like I need a manual. But I'm... Really glad it's here. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. 
Sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. I can def- This thing is going to the fuck up. This here. thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. I forgot what that is. It's like radiation, the radiator. Hi, fans. Now, Skip. I understand you work as a security guard at Blackwell Academy. It's pretty is that loose. True? How can uh, yeah. I tighten it? Uh, that, that's that's true. Keeping the kitties safe by day and melting their faces off by night. That the plan, Skip? Uh, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Fantastic. We're about to play a brand new track from Pistol. <sighs> Much better. Guys yet. What I want you to do is crank that stereo up as loud as it goes. If anyone complains, what do you I tell bet them, Dad would have liked the idea uh, of me using his tools to fix a ride. Cool. Take the screwdriver too. No, so I gotta use one at a time. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Yeah, she knocked one out. Um, air quality advisory, state park. Oh, yeah, I forgot the fire is still going. Go back from whence we came. Alright. Distributor is good to go. Battery. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Don't shock yourself. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Alright. Just need to... I guess that works. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Find another spark plug. Plug 
please. I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey, holy shit, your hair, it's so <laughs> badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot, but yeah, badass too. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? Oh, God. What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? Um, now yeah, I gotta play it safe. For fuck's sake, the money wasn't there. What do you want from me? I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew. Right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Oh, might as well say yeah. Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman. 
Mm. I, she's a friend. An old family friend. <laughs> this chick doesn't have any family. Or any friends. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now. Rachel. Damn, Rachel. Even I know Wait I would've. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro- Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon. Your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. We're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to. And how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon! Calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. Jesus. Don't need to get crazy. Okay, that works too. Somebody get the knife. Get the knife. Oh, you fucking bitch. Oh. I know she did not just get stabbed. Oh no. It was in the arm. It was in the arm. It's okay. What the fuck? Chloe! Go! Now! Hold on! Shit! 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 Hey! Hold on! Okay. Rachel? No! Damn. No. This escalated very quickly. Like I told you, it started out super slow and then it just escalated. I mean, Chloe should know to apply some pressure to that wound. But she probably had to get the hell out of there first before she did that. Damn, son. This loading screen, though. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, 
what happened? I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. That guy you have a file on. Demon Merrick. Why does he hate you so much? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. Let me guess, they're going to ask me to tell so, them the whole story? I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I, I think he wanted to scare us so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? Well, that should be obvious. Um, I'm not going to put the blame on myself. I, I don't know. Maybe he's seen her before. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it, but then he said something that pissed Rachel off, and she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him, and then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. We all know Frank is okay. Ben, we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. I don't want to go to Blackwell. Hmm. Who should I ask about? Damon or Sarah? Let's ask about Damon. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have, um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. See, I told you this fucking chapter would escalate. It was slow as fuck and then out of nowhere. Bam. Hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. Oh, Drew's in the same hospital. I forgot. <laughs> I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well... Stretch my legs while I wait for re one more hour of waiting, and I would have read that. Oh, 
Shit. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. You think? If you're this useless now, what are you gonna do at 3 a.m. when the oh, baby needs- There's a sign for the prenatal class. Great. I guess that's your contribution for today. Ugh. Those people suck. Do I... can I leave here? I don't want to leave yet, but... Okay. Oh, we got a graffiti spot. Okay, nurses. The world wants to know. What's so funny? Of course a dirty joke. Q laugh track. Huh. I'm so tired of dealing with assholes. Things shouldn't have taken the proctology shift. Q laugh track. Frank's business must be booming. Shit. I really hope he's okay. Can I go back here? No, I can't go back there. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank. Big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. Alright, I guess I gotta go back there and check on everybody. Mom brought so many of these home when Dad died. And not a single one described how I felt. Come on. <laughs> not that I have any coins anyway. Oh man. Jackpot. Didn't come out? Alright, third time's a charm. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Taking that thing like a wild I want beast. Like Twenty more of those. Alright, so we're good to go. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Oh. I wonder if Damon Merrick classifies as a biohazard. He's definitely human waste. Is this for real? and see what's going on with everybody. Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? I wonder how he's doing. All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Drew's hurt, of course. But there's other things going well for us. Uh, I'm moving back into my, my old apartment in two and a half hours. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Mikey's been crashing at Drew's dorm. Oh? Uh, I had a bit of trouble with work. 
And it's all been pretty hard. Anyway, Drew managed to scrape together enough to get me back on my feet. I'm glad things are starting to work out then. Oh no. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure. Where did you get that money from? Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Yeah, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I, I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should probably ask Drew. I uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. They actually have helped me out. Money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. I hope the Norths are going to be all right. Hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh... I'm not sure, actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's... it's all good. Hm. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. I figured it might fit with my new barbarian look. You know, a war paint. Awesome. Nerds. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What? happened she got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick seriously it, it wasn't because of me was it oh, no somehow we've got our own shit with him now that's crazy fuck that guy I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. It's nice that Mikey and Steph seem to be staying here all day. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Can't it's nice that Mikey, Mikey and Steph seem to be staying here all day. No, I can't speak to Mikey. I... I think the football team needs thicker helmets. I heard you lost your balls. Come cry on. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> yep. Definitely too many concussions. And you can play without fear. You rock, bro. Logan, save me some painkillers. Jesus. Ooh, I want to eat that right now. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. Anything else in here that I need? 
I wonder if Drew will ever play again. Okay. Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. Feel better. I, I mean, no pressure. I, I know it's gonna take a while. You know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh, uh, right, right. I'll um, I'll leave you alone. Those must be from Steph's parents. All right, I gotta go check on Rachel Amber. Bet she's in the That'll next room. That'll be over. an interesting read. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. Chloe, this is Mr. Amber. Rachel is just waking up now. I'm sure you'd, she'd love to see you. Thanks. More like silent hospitals slowly drive friends and family insane. Hey, just heard the fire went out. Those guys house. look exhausted. You mean it's controlled? No, it's completely out. It extinguished itself. How could that be? Unless you get stabbed. Eating the right foods keeps you healthy and happy. Everything. I'm so glad Rachel's okay. Really can't wait to see her. Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. That's what James keeps saying. He's so strong in a crisis, you know. M my dad was like that. I'm sure he was. Just like his daughter. I just keep feeling like we were lucky. It, it could have gone so much worse, you know? I'm sure it would have I've said been that recently. if you weren't there for her. I am so glad you and Rachel have found each other. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Let me just check back here to see. My daughter has two broken ribs. Nathan was clearly defending himself against her unwanted and inappropriate physical contact. Continuing to involve my son will have extremely unpleasant ramifications for you. What could possibly be more unpleasant than what we've already gone through? <sighs> Holy shit. I would advise you to moderate your tone. Moderate my tone? We'll see how you feel when I sue you for emotional distress. Emotional distress? 
you're going to have a very hard time. I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. I was trying to listen I to the conversation, right away. but, uh... Looks like Nathan's getting into trouble. It's the beginning of his, uh... Downward spiral. Dad? I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. <laughs> My guardian angel. How are you? Not great. Better with you here. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him for everything he's done, but it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like on Mount Hood. Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. My mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. Are you sure? She could be completely different than you imagine. I'm sure. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number, maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... 
I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait, your hair, it's different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. A uh, nice balloon, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's for Drew. Were you, were you just in there? I'm actually here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Uh, I just keep it private. I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. God. <laughs> I guess I'll stop by, after I see Drew. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right, of course. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. Nothing we can't handle. Chloe, I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously something is going on. Should I be a bitch, or... I'll just be nice about it for now. I swear, man. Everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway... See you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Now we gotta break into Mr. Amber's office. I'm pretty sure Damon, the drug dealer, he's probably gonna show up again. I don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, we shall see. Hello?
So I think I know where it is. I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. All right, so I'm literally going to search everything. I apologize for now. Um, Arcadia Bay's least up front. wanted. Crime report. Arcadia Bay's oh. least wanted. Okay. What do we have here? I should check the computer, or some of those files laying around. If it can rain ash, I guess it could snow in LA. Oh, Megan, I didn't even know you were watching. You missed, like, the best parts. <laughs> it's the big one. So there's that. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. He's got a secret stash. Sweet. A secret key. Now to find the secret lock. Uh, hey Chloe, thanks again for visiting. Drew says good luck out there. Thanks, good luck to him too. Chloe? Yep. You're stronger than anything. Hope so. Oh, you joined at 8.30? Oh, oh, wow. You've been here for a while, then. I didn't even know. There's been people coming in and out, so... My beezy. Alright, so let's look for some more files here. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? Pro tip. When digging for secrets, try the DA's computer. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> Bottle of wine. Secret booze stash. Ooh. <laughs> More sherry. <laughs> All right, lock drawer down here. Welcome to Shadyville. That was Eminem's album, I think. A secret cell phone. Ooh. Let's check out the letters first, though. Oh, you've kept quiet. <laughs> I see. I have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. All right. So let's see. We got to start at the top for this one. Holy shit! They've been talking a lot. I'm told you can help me with my problem. Crossing the line, eh? Let's talk. We'll call tonight. I found who you were looking for. Call you in 15. Well, this isn't a charity. I'm going to need you to do what we talked about. I can't. Sure you can, because I talked to your girl, and she has a big mouth. Turns out she's not so easy. We're going to need to be more hands-on. Don't hurt her. Relax. I've got my best guy on it. How's your daughter? You know, she attacked me first, right? You really should teach her to behave better. Nothing. Guess you don't need 
this taken care of anymore. I know he's not talking to Damon. James is working with Damon Merrick? Oh, shit. This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? <sighs> Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? Um. Um, so I gotta guess I gotta text back. So we're using names. Oh shit. I can't scroll up. I can't scroll up. Ah, okay. It's simple. Either you do what I want or your little problem becomes a big problem. How did you take care of the evidence? Or now, did you take care of the evidence or not? What do I say? I know you're new at this, so I'll give you a pass. Don't fuck with me. Let's see proof of the evidence. Oh, shit. Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Unless Sarah sent all these letters. James never gave them to Rachel? That's so messed up. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot to read, and I won't... Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. Cease and desist. Law for mother of Rachel Amber and petitioner of partial custody of Rachel Amber and her lawful mother. Please take notice that Oregon law requires current guardians of minors to respond in good faith to any and all lawful petitions by parents who reestablish contact with their children. On behalf of my client, I hereby demand that you cease and desist from unlawfully denying contact between Sarah and Rachel Amber. You are now considered to be on notice refusal will result in a petition for a suit filed under Oregon law. Hmm. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Oh. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. Damn, son. Oh, you see what I see, Megan. The plot thickens. James sure keeps lots of files on people. Uh, best we better use the, um... Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Hmm. Um, so what does he want to see proof of? Some kind of files. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? Alright. Um. He wants proof of. Oh, here it is. Evidence. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Or. Maybe there's some info on the case hanging around the office. Yeah, let's not take a wild guess, because that'll probably fuck things up. Um... James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Alright, so let's see. Letters, no. Sharing. Is there anything on the computer? Looks like a recent email from Rachel's mother to James. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Hmm. 
I don't know which evidence he's talking about. So maybe I should just take a guess. Sarah sent all these letters. This so this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Assault. Uh, aggravated assault with deadly weapon. After verbal altercation with the victim, Merrick brandished a fire poker, hitting the victim several times about the head before fleeing, fleeing the scene. Merrick's gloves were recovered and entered into evidence. A 911 call was received at 10:21 p.m. An officer arrived on the scene at 10.38 p.m. With the EMT, the victim was taken to a hospital bystander who requested to remain anonymous named Damon Merrick was the assailant. Merrick's gloves, so that has to be it. Huh. If TV has taught me anything, these babies will be swimming in DNA. Oh, Sheldon. Yeah, I don't think, um, uh, let's see, I'm waiting. What? That's evidence, right? Yeah, and now you fucking destroy it. Why are you so bad at this? I'll get right on that. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. Hope James doesn't really get Damon off the hook. That dude's got to pay. Um, he said, "Ooh, never mind." Yeah, I checked all the files. I thought I thought I was thinking the same thing that you were thinking. Burn the glove. Might want to burn it outside, Chloe. that again. You've taken care of it? Good. So, since you're destroying evidence, might as well tell me which of my guys was the snitch. Really? Where is she? No more games. Sorry, Chief, but I think you're gonna do what I ask. Tell me who it is, or maybe you'd rather deal with your problem yourself. Damn. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. The so Sherry. I need to find <laughs> which of Damon's guys has been snitching. I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Where's my uh, text messages? Uh, what's mom talking about? Planning supper? What time do you think you'll be home? Don't wait for me. Sweetheart, we don't get enough family time as it is. Does Rachel want us to join? Or does Rachel want to join us? She's very welcome to. Mom, I just can't make it tonight. Sorry. Chloe, is everything alright? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, love you. Love you too. Uh, so I gotta search for who's the snitch. Okay, so that's Damon Merrick's. And yes, you are bad at guessing games. <laughs> Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Hmm. So I might have to look at the files. Let me see. 
Yeah, gotta investigate. Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. Sheldon. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. Officer comments has been very cooperative. No missed check-ins. Oh. Well, I think we found our snitch. Sheldon. This is that freak from the mill. Yeah, Sheldon Pike. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. Um, I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Gerald Scott. I understand my rights. Give them free will. Huh. All right. So Gerald Scott or Sheldon? Okay. You're going for Sheldon. Let me look at this crime map real quick. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. Um. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? Ah, oh, that's Sheldon Pike. I think it was the one from the first night. I was gonna beat up Chloe, or, or beat up, uh, yeah, beat up Chloe, I think. Um, Frank? No. We know Frank is innocent. Um... It's gotta be Sheldon. The rest are pretty innocent. Um, so we're going with Sheldon, right? Informant of Sheldon. Like, shit, really? I barely know that guy. And now he's gonna wish we never met. Good work. Guess all that leaves is our handoff. Show me, show me you have payment and I'll tell you where to meet. Payment? Fuck. The exact amount your pigs stole from me. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? Hope James doesn't really get Damon off the hook. That dude's gotta pay. Would that money be? It's not in the files. Sawdust? I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Oh, yeah, I think it is. Holy shit. All right, good work. And now here's your girl, ready to go. Fuck, that's Sarah. Mm -hmm. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Bring me the package and we can finish the job. Um, hmm. On my way, don't do anything in the meantime. You really are new at this. Better hurry, this chick's starting to get on my nerves. Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay, I still have time. 
Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Oh, Jesus. Elliot? What the hey. fuck is he doing here? Elliot? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah. Oh, are you fucking serious? Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Um, it really is none of this guy's business. Um, does he want her dead? I don't know. That's a good question. I didn't think about that, but... Honestly, Elliot, you, you can judge me all you want, but it's pretty fucked up that you're here right now, and I don't have time for this. When? What? When will you have time? For me? You have all the time in the world for... For Rachel. Bitch, get out of here. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You, you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop... Stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. <sighs> I took the fall because I wanted to. Rachel tried protect me. Yet somehow it all worked out for her in the end. As usual. You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? She let you make a fool out of yourself. This guy, man. S seriously, man. You, you need to shut the fuck up before... I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot. I, I promise. N no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy! It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened... What the hell, man? This guy's... It's not even her boyfriend. He's acting like a fucking... Yeah, I'm gonna call him a stalker. Dude. You... You know you sound a little stalkerish right now. Stalking is defined as repeated unwanted interactions. How long have my interactions been unwanted? For a long time. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Yeah, that's the way to get somebody to like you. Huh, okay, so this could go one of two ways. Should I calm him down or walk past him? I'll let you decide, Megan. I can't beat his R's, I don't think. 
that'll end well. I'll let Megan decide this. This guy's really fucking... It's like, what? He is a fucking stalker, though. Calm him down. Walk past him. I would think I should calm him down, because, I mean... Who knows what'll happen? He might take the money. He might beat Chloe up. Who knows? So, I'm probably gonna... I know the chat is a little delayed, so... I'll give it, like, ten more seconds. But I'm probably gonna go with calm him down. Oh, snap. Walk past him. He's a dick. Are you serious? You did, like... Okay, this is... That's the decision you want me to do. I'll go with it. Look, <clears throat> I'm sorry. But I really need to go. See? I knew that was a bad thing. Why did you make me do that? Can't you just listen to me? Kick him in the dick. Call for help. Um. Call for help is a talk back, so let's do it. Elliot's gone full blown crazy. I. I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me. We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. Armed. All right, Elliot. Y you want to talk so bad? Let's talk. All right. Here we go. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Um. Okay. Right now, we are here at 2420 Blackfriars Road. Is that what you mean? You're acting strange. What's going on? I'm acting strange. What? Nothing. I... What are you... Did I tip him off already? Jesus. Ugh, you bitch! Can't you see? I just want to help you! Smash that. You're going to assault me now? That's how far you'll go to protect Rachel? This is what I'm talking about. No, you idiot. What the fuck? Better run, dickbag. Cops will be here any minute. Get the money and get the hell out. Dude, I failed so horribly on that. I only got one talk back and tipped them off right there. I should I knew I should have calmed them down. See, I shouldn't listen to you, Megan. And yes, he he is definitely a psycho. I mean you can't make somebody fall in love with you. Oh, I was I was the right I was right all along. Shouldn't listen to me, motherfucker. Get out. Nah, he said whatever. Hey, I wanted to calm him down. So much destruction. All but I left it in Rachel your hands. Got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. 
I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I just don't know anymore. That's what makes it so horrible. James Amber, the perfect dad, and James Amber, the scheming asshole, would act exactly the same around Rachel. Oh, sweetheart. You're a terrible liar, so I couldn't have been much better, right? Would you love me less? Of course not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. You were pretty sure Mom would never fall in love with someone like David, too. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? I guess it's better this way, not knowing. Then I'll always be Let's the, get the shit out. dad? How many people get to say that? No way. My ride, my tunes. Seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, we don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Definitely about to get real. She's going there. I don't know what's going to happen, honestly, but she ain't got no weapons and she's got money. But, uh, I don't know. Damon's a scumbag, so he might. I don't know. We'll see. License plate half hanging off the fucking truck and shit. Is that blood? Oh no. Frank. Frank's okay though. He's in the second game. Frank? Frank! I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. End of chapter? Well, this is the last chapter of Before the Storm, so... This is like the final conclusion, whatever happens.
Was this the bar? Where the hell is Sarah? Oh, this was the bar. This was the one where the, um... It's the one where the concert was, to begin with, I think. everything in here just in case it's a couch where Frank was sitting Frank's couch is toast can't go upstairs there's a bong Sheldon you gotta believe me I okay Sheldon you gotta believe me I N E I'm not a goddamn snitch who the fuck told you that? Hmm. All right. No. Shh. Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye bye. to meet my daughter can't you understand why does Your he daughter <laughs> Jesus so that's what he's worried about can't let the public know the mother of his daughter is some junkie I just want to see her you don't have to shut up James Amber wants you out of the picture so that's what's going to happen this is so messed up What knife? Did I miss a knife? Somewhere? After all, no one will be junkie. No. Know. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just, just let her go, and I won't say- <laughs> Oh my god. No! Talkings over. And he took Leave her alone. Annie. God damn it. Shut up. <laughs> What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! <laughs> Man, if only Max were here. No. Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with... Damon! What did you do? Still here? Ho, 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 ho. I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah. Rachel. Your daughter. She...
Sarah? No, she's dreaming. Chloe Price. And yes, he is definitely a dick. Where's Frank? Or, or Demon? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. Maybe she's not dreaming. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. What? What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. That's bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar! James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here. And you'll take that away from her. Forever. Damn. Don't you think the truth matters more? The truth? What's so great about the truth, Chloe? Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. No, you're not. You're stronger than you realize. You don't know anything about me. I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. Hmm. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant. And talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. 
I used to think my dad was perfect. But now I realize he was probably just as messed up as everyone. And it doesn't make me love him any less. That's a nice thought. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Hmm. Don't you want to see her? You came here for it. You got sober. You deserve the chance to know your daughter. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. Oh, shit. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. That'll be my final decision, I guess. That sucks. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait! I'll take care of her, you know. I believe you. Goodbye, Chloe. Damn. Well, that's a decision to make. So should I tell the truth or lie? I don't even really know which one to do. And they're going to make me do it right now. God damn. Damn. Oh, they brought her little globe thing. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? You tell her the truth. Megan, last okay, time I sweetie. listened to you, almost got we'll killed right by that crazy psycho. Not killed, but beat up, maybe. Uh, I'll have to see. I'll have to see. It's gonna be rough. Her dad is a fucking dick, though, man. I fucking hate people like that. How are you feeling? Tell her. Oh, God. Like I got stabbed. <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So, how did everything go?
Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> what he did was wrong. She deserves to know. Ah, no. But damn it. That's probably going to give me a bad ending. Ah, <sighs> God. Um. Damn, I'm going to be on this screen forever. Tell Rachel everything or protect Rachel from the truth. I think I should tell her everything, to be honest. But then again, Rachel may go crazy. I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. Square or circle? Square or circle? I'm going to hate it, but I might tell her the truth. All right, I'm telling her the truth. It's better to know the truth than lying. That's what I say in life. Oh God, this is gonna suck. It turned out better than I thought.
before the storm is over. Oh, not yet. She fully dyed her hair blue. I do know that the um, they're making the like I downloaded this I pre-ordered the downloadable version and I know they're making a um, a physical copy that I think includes an art book and a CD kind of like the thing that I have or that I got for the first game so I gotta pre-order that and probably I think it comes out this this month or next month so I'm gonna get that and uh, add it to my collection because you know Life is Strange is one of my favorite games this game is like so different from a lot of other games that, that people usually play. It's not like super action packed, kill this, kill that, or do this mission, do that mission. It's kind of like a, almost like a mystery. Even the first game is, is pretty much like a mystery. And this game is it's a little, there's like two less chapters in the, um, than the uh, first game, but still, it's pretty damn good to find out. Like, Relationship between Rachel Amber and Chloe Price. Telling the truth did work out. So, I'm glad I did that too. Alright, so I can officially say I'm completed. I'm done with the Life of Strange Before the Storm. I'm gonna let the credits play until the end so we can see our. Um, or see my decisions and how it ranks with the uh, people of the world that played this game. Uh, I want it. The little figures are so cute of Chloe and Rachel. There's figures in the collectible edition? I didn't know that. Maybe I need to look that up. I'll look it up right now since I'm waiting. say the um, the soundtrack for the first game is a little bit better in my opinion okay so limited edition before the storm it's a limited edition so of course I need to go ahead and pre-order that as soon as possible oh yeah they do have figures on here oh see and they're holding hands uh, four inch Rachel and Chloe statue 
limited edition to get the classic Chloe DLC outfit. I love it. Okay, I'll definitely get it. I wish I included the soundtrack though. Uh, oh, it does include the soundtrack. Oh, shit. Soundtrack CD, the original music soundtrack of Life is Strange before the storm. And you said you're welcome. Thank you, baby. Oh, it includes an art book, soundtrack CD, episode one from the first Life is Strange. Why does it include that? It includes the um, outfit packs that I currently have for this game. Bonus episode. Dude, I was supposed to get that bonus episode. Because I pre ordered this version, the downloadable version, they said I was supposed to get a fourth, um, a fourth installment, like a fourth chapter. It's fine though, I'll get it. Oh, they have a even, they have a video of the figure. This definitely looks like something that you'd want to own to the one of those figures. Maybe after the credits, um, maybe I'll, I'll have to unlock it or something. Since I don't think we'll get another Life is Strange game, just because of the way... Actually, we could get another Life is Strange game. It'd be a sequel to the first, to the first um, Life is Strange game. I kidnap my figures. Not those figures. I mean, we'll we'll get you a copy, maybe. So if they wanted to, I don't know who created the game. I don't know the studios that created this game, but they can do a sequel to the first game. Because the depending on what you choose, the first game ends to where it can lead to a sequel. And since this is a prequel, they can't really do anything else with this. This is like what happened in the past. Unless they want to go back way back to where um, Max and Chloe were like little kids and shit, but I don't think that'll have the same effect. Nothing can get too real, I guess, and with that kind of storyline. Ah. Uh. Chloe is, um, I like Chloe out of all three of them, Max, Chloe, and Rachel. Chloe's like the most badass. And we can kind of see where it came from now. It's like partially because of Rachel Amber. And partially because she's just a rebel in general. But I'm gonna let the, uh, said, uh, yeah, uh, alright. I'm gonna let the, um, the outro play. I'm probably gonna get hit with a copyright strike, but oh well. Um, I will be right back. Rachel's, 
Yeah, they all have their charm. I like Max too, but Chloe is just, I don't know, she's just a certain type of badass. But yeah, Rachel's pretty cool too, I must admit. Actually, most Chloe's badassery comes a lot from Rachel Amber. Like, if you watch the first chapter, I mean, she kind of follows Rachel, Am yeah, Rachel Amber's kind of vibe. She picks up on it and starts acting like her a little bit. Thanks for playing. It's the end of the credits here. Alright, so it's really half and half. I told Rachel Amber the truth, which 49% of the world's population did the same thing, but uh, 59 or 51 percent actually didn't tell her the truth. And I wonder how that would have turned out. Um, okay, so friend stats. Okay, I attacked. Oh, this is my first chapter. Hell is empty. Hell is empty only has one fucking. Ugh. There wasn't many choices in Hell is empty compared to the other ones. Hey, I'm in the minority that I said I told Rachel Amber the truth, though. And I'm happy about that. <laughs> That's the photo booth picture I think you find in this. Chloe calling 17 missed calls. Okay, I know what that means, but I can't, I can't, I can't spoil that for you. You need to play the first game. You need to finish playing the first game to see exactly what the fuck is going on there. Um, so, bonus episode, farewell. Oh, okay. I did. Thanks for playing Before the Storm. Don't miss the bonus episode, farewell. Um, which I don't think has been released yet. So, they're probably going to release that in March, I would think. Hmm, okay. Okay. Oh, man, why did they have to end it like that? Why did they end it on such a... I can't say anything else because I don't want to ruin anything. But anyway, that is Life is Strange Before the Storm. Great game. I still think I have one more episode to play. Um, but whenever they release that, I guess I'll stream it. And um, I guess going forward, my next stream is probably going to be... I got to finish Hellblade. I need to finish that this week. I'll probably try to stream it Tuesday. Tomorrow may be a little bit busy and hectic for me after work, so I don't know. Um, if not, I'll probably just stream some Dragon Ball Z story mode or something like that. Dragon Ball Z Fighters, but we'll see. But anyway, guys, thank you if you came in to watch the watch the gameplay. If you can, leave a like down there. Um, subscribe to my Instagram, at Akatsuki Akuma, A-K-A-T-S-U-K-I Akuma dot on Instagram. See my nerdiness in all full glory right there. Um, but I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thanks for checking out my stream. Carry 53421, aka Akatsuki Akuma, aka Raging Raichu, out of here. I'll see you later. Peace.